Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Kini Talks. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe and click on the bell icon. I post cool videos all the time. Now, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can record crisp, clear, professional quality audio with your tablet using a USB microphone. Now, for this demonstration, I have the AKG Lyra, which is a USB-C microphone. I have the iPad Air 4, which also has a USB-C port. And I'm using the USB-C to USB-C cable, which I got along with my iPad Air. Now, the setup is kind of simple. Make sure you have the right cables. Otherwise, you need adapters or dongles. Connect the one end of the cable to the microphone, the other end to the iPad. And uh, very important, to make sure that you unlock the iPad because if you don't use the if you don't unlock the iPad it won't recognize the microphone and the accessory won't be used however to to kind of like record something on voice memos garage band or the native camera app you will have to unlock it so you let me use it now as soon as you connect your microphone you will see the light over here currently it's on the front capture module um if we switch it around it will also turn to the other modules. I'll keep it on front for a while and we have the mute switch too. So if I click on the mute switch, the light within the mute switch kind of like highlights. So we know that the microphone is working now. All right, I'll unmute it. And uh, for this demonstration, I'll be recording the audio on three particular apps. One is the native camera app of the iPad. The other will be voice memos, which is like a voice recorder app on your iPad. And um, the last one is going to be GarageBand, which is kind of like a DAW for music recording instruments, etc. Let's get into it. Hey guys, so this is me. I am using the AKG Lyra microphone along with my iPad and you're able to see the voice memo app over here recording the sample audio. Now the capture mode for this microphone is on the front and I'm facing the front side of the microphone. Along with that, the gain is set to zero. So there is no gain in the microphone at all. I have noticed when I use the microphone with my iPad, the gain is by itself enough even a slight increase in gain is a lot let's go ahead and check out the native camera app now how the microphone records with that hey guys so as you know i've connected the akg lyra microphone to my ipad the gain is set at zero and whatever audio you're able to hear right now is being captured by the usb-c microphone let's uh, check it out with GarageBand now Hey guys, so right now I'm using the gain at 40%. The input volume is also at 40%. I have selected the audio recorder option. Under more options, I've gone for vocals and I'm currently using the narrator option, which is the best option for voiceovers. Now this is a sample audio and we're going to compare this against the uh, audio recording recorded in voice memos and the video as well, just to check out the uh, how the audio sounds in the video, voice memo, and this recording in GarageBand. In all three recordings, I was one feet away from the microphone, so that's a constant. In uh, It's however good to note that I had no control on the input volume in uh, the voice memo app or the um, native camera app. However, I have input volume control available in GarageBand. So from this video, I believe using an external microphone like the AKG Lyra, we can get clear, good quality audio on our voice memos, video recordings and narrations on GarageBand. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. I'll also be making another video of how to use the AKG Lyra microphone with your smartphone. I'll also link that in the description below. I hope you like this video guys. Please leave a thumbs up, do subscribe and if you uh, have any questions, comments, please feel free to join me in the comment section below. Have a nice day. Stay safe.